Hi, Caleb with Brown Eyes here. And in today's quick tip, we're gonna be installing the Reptilia Recce stock. So, you've probably seen this before. It's this uh, like Ugg boot looking uh, stock from Reptilia. And I saw it and I was like, dang, I gotta have one because it's, it's a pretty cool stock. So, if you're not familiar with what like Recce actually is, uh, we'll do a quick video on that as well, kind of go over just like the, a brief overview of Recce. Uh, if you want a really in-depth video on Recce, like Garantham did like a multiple part series that really gets into like the down and dirty of it, so check that out. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that, we're here to just install this thing, right? So first thing we're going to do, when you take it out the box, it's going to look like this, just kind of all assembled, and uh, you're going to be tempted to just try and screw it on your gun, don't do that. But I'm gonna kind of set this down here. So what we need to do first is prep our lower receiver. And we're gonna prep our lower receiver by removing everything off the back of it, all right? So we're gonna remove our buffer tube, uh, whatever castle nut we already have on there. If you have a, a carbine stock, if you have a rifle stock, pull all that stuff off. If you don't know how to remove any of that, uh, check out our video series we have on building an AR-15 on our website. It's really in-depth, really detailed, and uh, it'll get you through all that. So. All right, kind of moving forward from here. If you look at the box that this thing comes in, it says um, recommended to be installed by a gunsmith, but that's okay, I've, I've got you. Watch this video. If you're feeling good about yourself after the end of the video, uh, take a crack at it. If you still don't feel comfortable, then yeah, by all means, take it to your, your local gunsmith. I'm all for supporting your local gunsmith, but at the same time, um, I want you to be able to do your own stuff too. So that's, that's why we're here. All right, and then kind of moving forward from there, uh, let's, let's just kind of take this thing apart here. So what you're gonna need to do is hit the extension lever here and just pull the stock forward. It is obviously an adjustable stock. And if you notice, there's this nut on the back here. It should be hand tight when you get it. Just unscrew it. Keep unscrewing it, it's gonna, there we go. All right, we're gonna set that down. Then at this point, you can pull the tube out of the body. This is a proprietary tube. It's proprietary for this stock. We'll set that aside. And we'll set this nose piece aside here that comes off. And before we go any further, I'm gonna mention that this is for a carbine spring and buffer, okay? But um, at the time of this video, this is what exists, but they do plan on making one for your SR25 and your A5 length systems and, and stuff. So uh, this is, the, the installation process should be exactly the same. If it's different, we'll make an updated video, uh, but I don't see it being that. And this front nose piece here, uh, it just kind of slides over, but they also make one that has QD attachments in it that you can buy as a separate piece. Uh, and it just hooks on the same way this one does. So there's a few options there. Uh, so yeah, at, at this point, you know, if you're like, man, Caleb, if Caleb can install this thing, anybody can. I'll take a crack at it. Um, <laughs> good for you. All you're going to need is a vice, something to hold your lower receiver. We're using the Midwest Industries vice block right here, okay? Uh, and then you're going to need AR-15 wrench. All right. Now let's get started on the installation process itself, okay? And I want to I wanna show you something before we get too far into this. So if you notice, they actually put the torque setting on the tube. So this says 35, 35 foot pounds, all right? That's what you're gonna wanna torque that at. Now, this screw that goes on to the back, notice that says 25 inch pounds, okay? In we're inch pounds, don't, don't do foot pounds for everything. 25 inch pounds, so be aware. Okay. First thing we're gonna need to do is take our buffer retainer, detent, and spring. We're just gonna put those together. And we're gonna set that in our lower receiver, the hole cut in our lower receiver, uh, just like we would to install any other stock. And that goes, that goes right there. All right. Then we're gonna take the tube and thread it on the back. And what I like to do is I'll just put a little bit Listen, 
I've seen some crazy people putting Loctite on here. Don't put Loctite on here. I actually, I do the opposite of Loctite. I put some oil on here. And I'll screw that in. And when you get to that detent, you're going to need to push it down and screw in the rest of the way. The tube will retain your detent. Your detent won't come out. All right. All right, now we need to actually torque this tube on. And the torque setting is written on the back there, staring me in the face. 35 foot-pounds. So if you don't have a wrench um, that will torque this, honestly, we could probably use this wrench, put, some, put a little bit of pressure on it, and be okay. But we'll just go ahead and torque it because the destructions say to. All right, and if you have an AR wrench, most of your, most every AR wrench, again, we're using Midwest Industries wrench here, uh, they'll have this kind of like two flats with the oval sides on it here. Uh, that is for an A2 stock, but it actually, it'll fit on this as well. So that's what we're going to use. All right, we're going to take our torque wrench and go to 35 foot pounds. All right. 35 foot pounds. And we should have enough clearance here to do it this way. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right. And we'll tighten here. There we go. 35 foot pound feels like a lot for this thing, but uh, that's that's what it should be. So that's what it is. Okay. Now, what we need to do at this point is deal with our detents and springs and stuff. So our rear takedown pin, uh, that's going to go, let me get my receiver up here. Our rear takedown pin goes back into the rear of the receiver. Uh, this is just part of the lower. We're going to take our takedown pin detent, put that in the hole just like we would for any other stock installation. The spring goes in that hole as well. All right, I'm going to position this so you guys can see it here, hopefully. All right, so we have our spring sticking out there. Now, we have this nose piece that came with the recce stock, right? And one end of it is flat. That mounts to the stock itself. The other end has this cut in the bottom. That's actually cut for the receiver, you can see there. All right. And we're just going to slide those two pieces together, being careful not to kink this spring. We want the spring to go straight in. So we'll slide this over, and if you if you push it all the way flat, the spring's gonna push it back. So we gotta just kind of be mindful here. And what I like to do is I like to just push push this forward and hold it on. And whilst holding it on, well, actually I need to extend this stock here. Extend your stock and slide it on. So all the plastic pieces here will line up and then you can take this this uh, bolt here this bolt is aluminum and you just thread it onto the back this is what holds everything on and I'll thread that on just like that and now you're gonna need to torque this down uh, you can use a socket that a socket will fit over this you can use a socket torque it down. Um, honestly, I'm just going to use a standard adjustable wrench and I'm going to snug it up. 25 inch pounds is not a lot. Um, you can, but listen to me. Let me unscrew this here. All right. Now I want to talk to you about something. Okay. You can put a little bit of Loctite on here, but come here, lean in, come here. Do not put a bunch of Loctite on this piece. One little bitty drop of blue Loctite. If you're gonna put Loctite on here, I'm not I'm not gonna use Loctite. I hate using Loctite on stuff like this. But if you were to, pretend this is Loctite, that's how much Loctite you need to be putting on it. Alright? Don't go don't don't call Brownells and say, listen, I ruined my Reiki stock because I put Loctite on it because Caleb said I could. Don't don't go crazy. Don't blame me for you using too much Loctite. Loctite can 
this is an aluminum bolt going into an aluminum tube, okay? We, we don't want to seize up the aluminum. All right, so anyways, back on track now that we've got that out of the way. I'm going to snug this up just like I said. That feels pretty good, and that's, that's going nowhere. All right, there we go. That's all there is to it. Um, all you need to do at this point is just take your buffer and spring, throw it in there, uh, put your upper on, and you're good to go. You've installed the recce stock. So, cool thing about the recce stock, it's a super lightweight stock, and you have a sling attachment on the back here uh, that is that can be flipped over. You just undo the screw, switch whichever side you want it on. Uh, me being predominantly lefty shooting rifles, I'm probably going to switch this one over um, and run it that way. So, Recce uh, in itself, you know, kind of demands that you use lightweight components. This stock is extremely lightweight. It pretty much they, they kept a really good bearing surface for the shoulder. You can see there, it's nice and textured. Rubber butt pad, it's not gonna slip. Uh, and they have a nice wide cheek weld area here. So they only have material where it's needed and they basically cut out everything else, uh, which is cool, uh, which makes this stock really useful and actually makes sense. So uh, like I said, this one's for the AR-15. They are gonna have one for your SR-25. Uh, they mentioned coming out with one for your A5 length stuff too, uh, which I will definitely be snagging because I'm a big fan of the A5 length buffer systems. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, you need help, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>